Hi guys, I was going to do a Facebook Live, um, kind of push for time today, so I gave it about five minutes, so I do understand it's through the week and people are probably still working, so I'm going to go ahead and just record this tutorial and post it to my YouTube and then share it with the group. All right, so earlier in the week, I did two chip bag tutorials. The first chip bag tutorial I did was designing directly in Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is a chip bag that I put together in Microsoft PowerPoint. You can see that in Microsoft PowerPoint, it gives you the full use of the paper, the eight and a half by 11. And you have a lot more flexibility with control over colors and blending and just a lot more flexibility with Microsoft PowerPoint, as I'm sure you do with other software besides Cricut Design Space. <laughs> okay, so this is the one that I did in Microsoft PowerPoint. So hopefully you guys can see that just fine. I know sometimes people, you know, can't see these things as good as we would like them. You can see that I have it on a glossy um, paper because I like to have my chip bags to have like a little shine to them. Um, I would not recommend cardstock. <coughs> I would not recommend, um, you know, like a just a plain print printer paper, copy paper. Um, something that has a gloss would really bring it out. So either your high def gloss uh, paper, photo paper, or either... Um, even uh, your printer, your brochure papers, uh, presentation papers, those would work as well. So this is done on the high gloss photo paper. Okay, so it's kind of like matted on that side, like a matte color on that side, and then it's shiny on this side. So that's the one in Microsoft PowerPoint. This is the one that I designed directly in Cricut Design Space. So. You can see that with Cricut Design Space, you're limited on size. I had to cut away a lot of the excess around here because you can only do 9.25 by 6.75 in Cricut Design Space. And so therefore, it's a lot smaller. So I posted in my group so you could try to see the difference. This is Microsoft PowerPoint, and then this one is your Cricut Design Space. With Microsoft PowerPoint <coughs> design, you can get the chip bag, the little small chip bags. You can get the complete bag without unwrap, you know, undoing it inside of here. Okay, but the Cricut design is too big; it's too small for this chip bag. Okay, so you have to actually take the chips out of the bag and then put them in like. Um, sandwich bag in order for them to actually fit. Now you may have some people that don't want you to open the bag, especially with the coronavirus <laughs> thing right now. They may not want you to do that and they may not purchase your services because, you know, you're limited to this right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you um, how to put the chip bags together and what the finished product would look like. Now, if you want to know how to do it in Microsoft PowerPoint or Cricut Design Space, then I have a video on each in the group and also on my YouTube channel. So you can go back and look at those video tutorials and then pick up with how to design. So a couple of things that you're going to need. I recommend double-sided tape. This is going to allow you to tape your side so that you can um, cover them, you know, fold them in and seal the bag back up. And I use my Fiskars. I bought these years ago. You can see they got something on there I can't even get off. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But um, I use Fis Fiskars. And basically what this is going to do is you can see it has the little um, things here that will put the ridges in the top of the top and the bottom of the bag. So I use this. So with the template that I use, I always make sure I have enough room at the top and at the bottom so that I'm not crushing the chips <clears throat> or the snacks inside. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the um, Cricut Design Space bag first. And I'm going to kind of put this down so you guys can kind of see it here. 
and so you know, this piece of paper I put it down on because my table got all kinds of crap on it from crafting. <clears throat> so what I would recommend is that you double side the top, the bottom, and then the left side. Okay, you don't have to double side both sides, but you just want to double side tape one of the uh, sides and then the top and the bottom. Okay, so we're just going to go on here and probably would help if I had it on the right side. All right. And then we're going to seal that bottom. And then we're going to put it on the side. And you want to make sure you get it on there good so that your bag is nice and, and sealed. Once you get your double-sided tape on, you're going to take your chips that are in your sandwich bag and place them in. I would recommend that you put them, put the opening towards the back and then start with your folding. So I'm going to start folding here from the side, making sure that I still have my front intact, the front of my bag intact. And this is the side that's going to come down here. So I could have moved my thank you for coming over just a little bit, but it's okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. And make sure that you don't get your sandwich bag stuck to the um to the tape. then you won't be able to fill your bag, but you want to make sure you got them in there good. And then go ahead, close one end, and then kind of try to push the air out. So this is what it looked like so far. <clears throat> On the other here. There you have it. So this is the, again, this is the bag that has the, this is the bag that was designed in Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to give that, I'm going to set this to the side and kind of let that tape kind of adhere a little bit. So this is what it's going to look like before I do the, what you call it on it but you want to make sure that it is closed. Okay, we're going to sit that one to the side and then we're going to take our one that was designed in PowerPoint. I have to always make sure that my tape is still there. And which side to roll on, which side to roll on. And you're going to do the same thing where you're only going to tape the top and the bottom and then one of the back sides. For some reason it keeps moving over. All right, so this is the bag that you don't have to open. We're just going to drop that in. And then we're going to go ahead and fold our bag and get it ready. To close up here. You want to make sure you got it lined up properly. There's a little girl with the happy birthday and the balloons. 
so you get much more room and use out of the PowerPoint bag than you will with your Cricut Design Space bag. And I didn't have to worry about coming over too far. You can see I got all of everything on the back side. I'm going to kind of hold this up a little bit and close it up just like that. Nice and sealed. And again, I'm going to close this bottom down here. <clears throat> missed the mark there a little bit but it's okay so this is the bag that I did in PowerPoint okay so it's a little bit fatter than the Cricut Design Space bag so you can tell the difference here okay when you hold them side by side it is a big difference between the bag that I designed in Microsoft PowerPoint and then the bag that I designed in Cricut Design Space. Okay. And I'm going to have to try to catch this one a little bit because my tape apparently didn't get on there really good. So I'm going to have to try to, you want to make sure that they do close because you don't want to be at the little kids party or what have you with bags that are popping open. have it and then you're going to take your whiskers and you're going to kind of get a grip on it and then try to pull it down oops you went the wrong way i never get this right like never Okay, <clears throat> need it like this. Okay. I don't think I'm holding it right. Okay, let's see, here we go. Had it on the wrong side. So you're just going to pull it in enough to kind of give it that little crinkle like that. And the same thing with your top. Catch it, pull it in, and give it a crinkle. And that's your bag for your Cricut Design Space. So you can see that it's doable. It's just little. You know, I might recommend this one more so for candy, you know, but, you know, like I said, in this day and time, I wouldn't want anybody opening that chip bag and putting those chips in here, especially if I didn't know you. If I knew you, it would be different, but if I don't know you, I would want the bag to be closed. So we're going to go ahead and pop this one in. It doesn't take much. You're just giving it a little bit of a you know, uh, ridge on the end. And I know I bought these things so long ago. Like I said, I haven't used them in a long time. It is good if you get it straight because I just did not. <laughs> so it looks nicer. <laughs> oh, I totally messed that one up. Lord Jesus. Let me see if I can put it in one more time and make it look halfway decent. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, that's a little bit better. I just kind of messed up the top part of the white. You can see the ridge going across. So that's it, guys. That's the bag that was designed in Cricut Design Space versus the bag that was designed in Microsoft PowerPoint. I did put the template um, for you in the group. So if you want to use the template that I have, you're free to do so. Um, but guys, please, please, please don't pay people for templates when you, you can create them yourself. They're not difficult. It's just shapes. That's all it is. 
You can see where I kind of messed up right there, but it's all good because I'm just going to open these and tear these chips up <laughs> myself. Uh, no party here. Um, but I like the PowerPoint bag, to be honest with you. I like the one designed in PowerPoint because it just looks nicer. It's bigger. You can put the entire bag inside of it without having to worry about somebody opening the bag and then putting it in a sandwich bag, which, you know, if it was candy and the candy is not open, then I could see the Cricut Design Space bag. I don't know why it looked like this page is upside down, but I know what it is. Um, but yeah, it, it'd be different if the candy was in uh, individually wrapped and then you put it inside the little sandwich bag and put it in here. That's one thing. What I also like is, like I said, guys, it's good to put like what's inside the bag. So here you can see I have chips. Um, on this one, I put enjoy your bag of chips so that they'll know what's inside of here without having to, even though it's not chips in here. But that way, if they get scattered and no one remembers, oh, I know some got Doritos, some got chips, some got, you know, Funyun, some got popcorn, what have you. You know, if you're doing like 10, 10, 10, 10, just make sure you design out 10 bags with popcorn, 10 bags with chips, 10 bags with Funyuns, and then pack them accordingly because that'll be easier for them to just look on the bag and see what they have. Because you can have some kids that are allergic to certain things or allergies to certain things. So um, it is better if you mark your bags. All right. All right, guys, that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, again, use a high gloss paper, photo paper, presentation paper, brochure paper that has that nice white crisp gloss to it. Um, no regular printer paper, no card stock, do not recommend it, and get you some Fiskars. Um, I can't remember the cutting shears. I think some people use cutting shears to put the little ridge on the end, um, but I like the Fiskars better um, because of the ridge. And I don't think I pay, I probably pay like nine or ten dollars. It's been some years, and uh, I think I got it at Michael's. Um, don't know how much they cost now, but that's how much I pay. And I very seldom use it because I very seldom make bags. Um, Double-sided tape. And yeah, either design out in Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, if you're interested in getting Microsoft PowerPoint, I know someone that can do it for you and it won't break the bank. So just let me know. And I'll tell you how to contact that person um, that works in IT that does that kind of stuff. Um, and then what else? Then also you have your template in Cricut Design Space. So Cricut Design Space versus Microsoft PowerPoint. You have more flexibility in PowerPoint. I think I said that like a hundred times. <laughs> Plus you don't have to worry about Microsoft PowerPoint going down. Ain't nobody said nothing. And we out here like, you know, addicted to Cricut and we can't work and we sweating. Some people got projects that they have to be due by a certain time and Cricket is acting a folk. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just playing, y'all. Y'all know I love Cricket. Just say that so mine don't go down today. Okay? All right, guys. But that's it. I just wanted to show you how you put the bags together. You can see the difference here. And again, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out. The template is in the group. Feel free to use it. All you need to do is just click on it and then right click, save as, and save it to your computer. And um, if you guys want me to put this uh, barcode and the nutrition facts in the group as well, I'll put those out there for you as well. And then it's just a matter of you finding images and placing your font and everything on there. But I absolutely love the bags and PowerPoint. Again, I said it again. <laughs> I said it again. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, guys. Well, that's my time. Got to get out of here because I got things to do. So I'm sorry that, you know, I sat on the Facebook Live for five minutes and figured that maybe people, you know, got delayed or what have you. So I just decided to do this tutorial. Serves the same purpose. The only difference, you don't get to ask questions, but you can ask them um, in the comments. All right. All right, guys, I'll chat with you later. And, you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Bye.